Welcome back to Extraordinary Everything. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a unique primate. The slow loris is undoubtedly one of the cutest animals in the world, but looks can be deceiving. Despite their harmless appearance, the slow loris has a bite with the potential to rot flesh. It is one of few mammals on Earth that has a venomous bite and is the only primate with this characteristic. The slow loris licks its arm to create a toxic mixture before delivering a venomous bite. An apocrine sweat gland on the form secretes brachial gland exudate, a smelly fluid that contains up to 142 volatile components. Saliva is mixed with this fluid to create a potent venom. Secondary toxins from their diet can mix with the venom and make it even stronger. They have a mouth full of 36 teeth with specialized dentition allowing for the delivery of venom through an adapted tooth comb. Most venomous species use their venom to defend against predators. The slow loris does as well, but unlike the others, they mostly use it in fights against each other. An 8-year study has shown that in the wild, males get bit more than females and younger lorises tend to get bit more than those that are older. This study helped the researchers discover that slow lorises are extremely territorial. Males will defend their mates while females defend offspring and food. Slow lorises have been known to bite humans from time to time, whether it be in the wild, in rescue centers, or in the zoo. It usually occurs when the loris feels like it needs to defend itself. For that reason, practitioners usually wear thick gloves for protection while handling them and for good reason. The worst documented case of a venomation in a human led to near-fatal anaphylactic shock. However, the effects of the slow loris bite have varied on humans. Few people reported no reaction at all, some reported not feeling well, while others suffered extreme pain and infection. The fluid from the forearm triples in function as it's also used as an antiparasitic defense mechanism and for communication with other lorises. The large eyes are typical for nocturnal creatures as they help them see better at night. During the day they'll be tough to find, usually curled up alone or with other lorises in hollow trees, crevices, or on branches. They'll only move if threatened by predators or poachers. Throughout the night, they hunt and forage alone, moving slowly and deliberately, looking for food or prey, but also not trying to be seen by predators. They are considered omnivores. Their diet consists of plant sap and gum, floral nectar, fruits, some insects, and small animals. Their feet are adapted to have astounding gripping strength, enabling them to hang and reach as far as possible. This adaptation is extremely useful when moving between branches, reaching for fruit, or even grabbing a flying insect out of the air. Their grip also allows them to move extremely slowly while barely making a sound, allowing them to go undetected by predators. If they get spooked, they'll remain motionless for what seems like an eternity and disappear into the night. There are currently nine different species of slow loris, although the pygmy slow loris was recently moved to another genus. They can be found in mangrove forests, bamboo groves, primary rainforests, and secondary rainforests throughout South and Southeast Asia. The earliest known mention of the slow loris in scientific literature was in 1770, although the natives had discovered them long before. There were, and still are, beliefs throughout different countries that the slow loris has special powers, from being the gatekeeper for the heavens, to special healing powers, or even using it to put a curse on someone. There are all kinds of superstitions when it comes to the slow loris. All nine species of the slow loris are either vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. While slow lorises do get into fights with each other and occasionally make a meal for a predator, the greatest threat to their population is humans. Unfortunately, there are several different ways in which humans have an impact on their population. The two most detrimental threats to slow lorises are loss of habitat and wildlife trade. Their loss of habitat is primarily due to deforestation. Destroying large areas of their habitat causes it to become fragmented. Groups of their population become isolated, causing less biodiversity and dispersal of the species. Despite significant loss of habitat, the decline of the species is usually associated with wildlife trade. Slow lorises are illegally traded as exotic pets or to be used for traditional medicine. They are protected from commercial international trade and local trade, although the law depends upon enforcement. Sometimes when slow lorises are illegally captured by poachers, most of their teeth are removed with no anesthesia, often causing dental infection and leading to death. 
They are usually transported in terrible conditions, causing a high mortality rate even before they reach their destination. Videos on social media have perpetuated the illegal trade and portrayed the loris as a cute pet. However, having a pet loris is extremely difficult and morally wrong. Loris pets usually result in early death from disease or distress as they are nocturnal and require a specific diet. Fortunately, the same social media can be used to educate and hopefully show why you should never have a pet like the slow loris. In addition, the International Animal Rescue launched a campaign to fight off the viral social media videos. Hopefully, it will help fend off illegal trade and their habitat becomes further protected so the slow loris can continue to be the only venomous primate on this planet. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.